and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat Spit Productions. Today's video is a long awaited, much requested video about printing um, flat substrates. Okay, uh, it's about printing poster board and corrugated plastic. Okay, and the reason why it was such a long awaited video was that I didn't have a project to do this with until now. And what I wanted to do was print some signs for myself, for my business, that I could put up in the local area and try to attract some printing business and do something, you know, that's really low cost, easy to do, and might get a little activity, right? So I decided to print some uh, step stake signs, and I got these from Home Depot. You can get a little package, it gives you a step stake frame and the core, core plast, plastic sign itself that you're going to print on. Okay, it gives you that in a little package. All right, so I got a few of these I'm going to print. And I also have some poster board. Now it's colored, I, I, you know, I got this from Staples and I wasn't able to get white. So I just got this colored stuff and I'm really printing this to you know, for, for all of you, because a lot of you have requested to print on paper. How do we print on paper? And the cool thing about this video is that I'm using an ink made by a French company called Dubuis, okay, and they make this ink, and this is a, uh, it's, it's a red, conventional coroplast, I guess they call it, it's CO red, and this ink is designed to print on a lot of different substrates. But what's cool and most important for me is that it's designed to print on paper, poster board, right? Or the plastic corrugated coroplast type stuff, okay? So it's a really cool ink for somebody like me who doesn't print signs very much at all, if at all, you know, very rarely. Um, this is a really cool ink to have because I could do posters if I wanted to, or I could do plastic signs. And like I said, if you look at the spec sheet for this stuff, you can, there are actually other substrates that it will go on. So it's a pretty cool ink, all right? So because it is a thinner ink, it's not the same kind of plastisol ink that we're used to, we're going to be using a 200 mesh screen. Okay, so I have that all set and ready to go. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to set up to print the signs and hopefully the poster board at the same time so that I can run through some signs and then do a couple of poster boards as well with the same exact setup and give you guys a little idea of, of you know, what it takes. And, you know, uh, remember that I'm not a sign printer by any means. I'm a textile printer. So I'm doing it on a textile press, which you can do if you have a big enough palette and your stuff fits on the palette, you know, there's really no problem with that, it's fine. It's just that, uh, you know, some sign printers may have something to say about my uh, technique or method, and that's fine. But for, uh, for demonstrative purposes, for you guys to print at home, this will be, uh, I think, pretty valuable for you, okay? So, I also have, just, you know, for this ink, I have some mineral spirits or uh, paint thinner, right? Because uh, I don't think the press wash and stuff that I have for plastisol inks would work very well with this type of ink. So I got a little bit of this mineral spirit. So this is an odorless mineral spirits, you know, which is better to work with. A little more expensive, but, you know, uh, for this small project, it's cool. Okay, so here we are with the uh, setup. All I did was I lined up the screen to my um, coroplast sign. I just taped it down on the spot and I lined up the print, you know, as best as I could to that. And I adjusted the off contact and the head and everything um, and locked it in so that it's straight and everything's set for the screen. There's not much off contact because we're just printing flat work so it's a thin layer of ink. All right, and um, now what I need to do is just set up my little jig, okay? And what I'm going to do is, is because I cut the I cut the poster board to fit the same size as the coroplast, I ended up with some spare pieces, right? So, excuse me, reach in front of the camera here. I have some tape, and I'm just going to take like how many of them I have? I have four, 
do like two, four, and we want to just create a little situation that the core class sign and the poster board can butt up against it. Okay. So I'm going to do that at three points. And this is going to be the jig, so that every time I drop one of these in here, it should be in the correct place. And, you know, because they're little signs and stuff, it's not that critical. It's one color. It's, you know, as long as it's pretty straight, I'll be happy with that. Okay, try to make sure you have a good little edge to butt up on. And you should only need three points. Okay, so there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm going to take the Coroplast out for a second. And I'm going to kind of tighten up my little edges here and kind of make a sharp edge with the tape. Tuck it in there real nice. You know, you want to try to make these things last for as much as you're going to print. So you don't want them to get all goofed up in the middle of what you're doing, then it'll just be kind of a pain. All right, so now let's test it out a little bit. And all I got to do is just kind of get it right about there. And then look, bring it down. That's, that should work. Okay, that's good for those. Let's try a little piece of Coroplast, I mean uh, poster board. Okay, and that, just something like that. And that should work as well. All right, so now I'm gonna, you know, probably for the Coroplast, I might, I might actually, I'm not sure how, if it's going to want to pick up when I print, you know what I'm saying? So I got to see how that works out. I haven't done this in a while. The Coroplast may be heavy enough that it'll just stay on the pallet when I pull up the screen, but the poster board may not. So I may want to tack the poster board down somehow with maybe just some masking tape at the edge really quick or something. Okay, so let me... Uh, readjust perhaps, add some ink here, get set up with ink and get ready to print. And, and then, you know, we'll get started and run through some prints. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna try to wing it here a little bit because I don't have a vacuum table. And this poster board is, is the type of thing that's gonna stick to the bottom of the uh, screen when you print it, it's gonna try to. So I'm just gonna wing it and try to deal with this. But ideally, you're gonna wanna try to be able to tack down your paper. If you're printing paper, you want it to stay on the pallet when you pull the screen up, that would be best. So you could either use tape or um, a vacuum table is ideal, or even a little spray tack possibly if you're not gonna print the other side. So what I'm doing here is because I'm printing two different thicknesses of substrate, I've got the corrugated plastic uh, Coroplast sign material down and I'm gonna print the poster board first on top of that because it's thin right so I just need I just need it to give me the right amount of distance right and we're gonna try to work fairly quickly so I'll print a, I'll try to print a couple pieces of poster board and see how that goes and then we will uh, switch right over to the Coroplast and I'll just you know take the last one out and take this tape up that's holding the Coroplast and go for it. So, right now I'm just gonna use this tape to hold my screen up. 
And when you're printing this type of air dry uh, ink, you probably want to be back flooding when in between prints. So you're going to put enough ink down, hopefully, so that you can back flood in between the prints. And I'll show you what that is in a second. Hopefully we can do this. All right. I'm going to lay that right down and go right for it. You can see there's a little... Okay, so now I got to see paper. Good, it came off. Now I'm going to back flood so that stays wet. There it is. You got to have somewhere to put your your poster board and stuff to dry. Now it seems pretty uh, heavy enough. Whoops. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be all right. It seems pretty heavy enough that it's coming off. Okay, back flood. There's another one. I'm winging it, guys. I don't even have anywhere to put the thing, so I'm just, I'm just going for it. Hopefully, I'm not going to end up in trouble with my corrugated plastic signs. Okay, there's that. That one, pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to back flood. Keep that thing back flooded. I'm going to pull this up. Hopefully, we can do this coroplast without major problems. Whoops, I got to get to the end there. All right, there it is. That looks fine. I have nowhere to put my stuff because I, I didn't back flood. Okay, you should try to back flood, man. Okay, so we'll flood it really good in there. Let me try to get this one a little straighter. One of the most important things is that you have to you have to keep moving with this kind of printing, okay? And this debris ink is kind of set up to tack up in about 10 minutes, I think. Okay, so there we go, that's it. You see how, it is, how it's done? That's the gist of it, guys. And, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's just, you just have to, look at that one stuck. Oh, that means the ink is getting tacky. It's stuck a little bit more. So the ink is probably getting a little tacky. Okay, guys, that's it. Last one. Okay, and it's sticking on there. My ink, it's starting to, you know. Okay, so there it is. Pretty cool. Let me, let me back flood this while I just show you that really quick. All right, not bad for quick signs. You know, resolution is fine. Good enough. Cool deal. Oh, am I even holding it so you can see it? The first one was probably the crispest. You know how it is. But being as though I won it, these signs will do just fine. So there you have it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. I hope you appreciate it. And if you like this Dubuis ink, you can actually get it on the Print Supplies page through Integrity Print Supply. Use the Integrity Print Supply listing, and you can get uh, a discount off of this ink. And if he doesn't have it listed on his website, call him up. He'll hook you up. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.